Mm-hmm. Okay, so it's recording and I'm going to step Okay. Thanks, Rhoda. Hi guys, I'm here today to give you a quick update on how we're going in Countdown. So we've really seen our compliance go from strength to strength over the last three months, with 85% compliance in blocks in April and 79% compliance in bars in April. We've seen it rise to 100% compliance in bars for July and 110% compliance in blocks for July. So this is a really, really great result. For the rest of the year, our focus is really going to be on our blocks and our seasonal. With the fast approaching launch for Marvelous Creation Spiders, closely followed by Fredo Block for Halloween and the Countdown Exclusive Blocks, we've got some fantastic opportunities to really build on the momentum that Caramel Milk and Oreo Double Chock has given us. Not to mention the in-store incentives for Countdown for the Countdown Exclusive Blocks and the team incentives we've got running for Marvelous Creation Spiders to really back everything up. Another key focus over the next three months is bars. So we have more and Max that's still trying to sell through the market and we've also lost some share of shelf for checkouts. So we really need to get behind our Oreo Double Chop bar and keep focus on uh, share of shelf in store and guarding our space. We've been through a year of relays this year with candy, blocks and checkouts completed and our upcoming share packs display on the horizon. It's really a good time for us to get our base business right and our shelves looking fantastic for 2018. While we're talking about getting our base business right, it's really leading back to our compliance. You guys are doing a fantastic, fantastic job at getting displays in store, but now we really want to ramp up our focus on gold. What does gold mean to us? And how do we get that to translate across to stores? So does a wing actually give more money than a 900 bin? Does a franc and dollar N3 display give more money than an other value? We need to get behind those stats and work with your RMs to get the data back to us so we can get our partnership with Countdown really firing for next year. With five is training fresh in our minds, I know you guys are all up to the challenge. And finally, I can't leave today without mentioning Christmas. We have a fantastic bunch of products following on from last year that will be going into store this year. We also have our Christmas sleigh, which had great hype at the Countdown trade show. We've got 61 displays already confirmed for Countdown, with another 20 to 40 displays available for stores. We're really going to bring the Christmas joy to Countdown this year. Fantastic work, everybody, and I think we're going to have a great end of the year. Thanks.